afternoon world uh welcome to august the 8th and well it's stopped raining now but it's been pitting day and all blimmin day again I only emptied that yesterday, so. So another day of me personally not achieving an awful lot. Um, some quotes for the tree company. Um, I'm pleased to say the phone has picked up. Um, actually been quite busy last couple of days. So I've got three to look at this afternoon and a wasp desk to do. So not a lot I can involve you guys with, but I will take you to do the wasp nest. It's on an allotment over in Dursley. So, you know, most exciting thing you might see today is me running away or getting stung or, or, or none of the above. Right, um, under the sign, apparently. Let's go and have a look. It's wet. I might have to wait for one to give away where they are. All right, there they are. Down in there. Where's the actual hole then? Oh, there it is. <coughs> That's done. Okay, next job. What? What? It's half past three, okay? So your tummy is telling you it's food time, isn't it? Get it when you get home. It's food at home. It's probably all put up ready for you. Isn't it? No good you tapping the lid of that jar. It's gonna be one of them days again today, isn't it? I I can feel it in me water. Right, you guys definitely need a bail. So this morning I had planned, it was my intention, to get the cat in and wean our calves and if I get a chance that's still my intention for today but um, literally just had me breakfast about 20 minutes ago and I thought well as I've finished my cup of tea reminder goes off my phone uh, I got an appointment with a dental hygienist at 11 o'clock right in the middle of the morning so it was kind of well there's not much point in me starting before then, because there's no way I can get it finished. So they're trying to work that out. Then the next minute is, I get a phone call from Camp Parish Council to say, could I possibly go out to the Jubilee playing field? They've got three wasp nests and some, there's some event going on there today. And as a matter of urgency, they need these wasp nests sorted out. So I've got hour and three quarters to give these guys a bail, go to Dursley, destroy three wasp nests, and get the Tetbury. So I need to get a wriggle on. Any time today, any time today.
Gainer. We find all sorts of wonderful things inside bales, but not very often a half burnt log. You can come out of there. It's so and everything. That might have to go on my fire later on. One thing is another thing. Right, Ewan's just rung me to say they've just been tipping off a load of waste wood at the neighbours and they've got the truck stuck and can I come and pull them out? It's like, <laughs> no mate, I can't. I can't. I've got no time. No time. So, uh, <clears throat> oh. like I said, one of those days. Yeah, I know, you can come in now. Told the dog she can't cover me. Not impressed. Right, well, there is nest number one. That's you, sort of. Right, nest number two is over there somewhere. I got the coach to send me a what three words location. So I'm where the blue dot is. So I need to go over there. So what three words, I don't know if you can see that, it's blimmin' useful because although nice lady from the council did say it won't be exact, but that's roughly where it is. So it's roughly where I am, probably somewhere in that bank. Let's check out that dip. Nothing obvious in there. There was a hole down there though. So that could be where it is, although there's nothing much, no activity. Another hole there, no activity. Hmm. Well, apparently it's here somewhere. I just got to find one coming in or going out, one or the other. I, I've postponed my dental appointment, now going next Wednesday instead of this Wednesday. Um, guys are on their way back from the job site, the job site, sorry, job site. Um, I'm just gonna go in the shed and pick up a strop and then probably Ewan's gonna come up to my neighbors with me and we'll pull our Stuck transit aim. Yeah. You can come with us because, you know, it'll be an adventure. Right, well, it's not in the barn. It's not in there. Pretty sure it's not in there. Where's my big green pudding strut? I reckon they've nicked it. I bet the tree team's got it. Right, okay, well. We'll start that up, get her warmed up, so when they get back, I haven't got to go flying off of a cold engine. Have you got the big green strop? Just about to grab it. Uh, I couldn't find it. Did you want that here or did you want it out there? What? The wood. Tip it here, if it's going to be too much ash, I'll go out there, just tip it here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to warm this up a minute. I can remember where I put the bloody keys. Where did I put the keys? There they are. Right, 
So apparently, the strop I'm looking for is in the top shed. I just looked in the wrong place. Let's have you a little bit higher, shall we? That'll do. Come on. You gotta share your seat, I'm afraid. Come on. There you go. You gotta steal carabiner. Uh you still have to attack it. Yeah, yeah all right. Who has it got stuck in? Was it you or Martin? Uh, me. Is it? But it sort of just went and just sort of slid down. Oh, did it? It's out of the way, so it's quite nice and mostly parked. <laughs> Politely and neatly parked? Yeah, exactly. All right, okay. Yeah. But I just tried rigging Eddie, but there's no answer, so... No, I don't know where they are. Martin knocked on the door, but... Yeah. Oh, they'll be off out a bit. Yeah. John Deere's there, so... Might get there if they've already pulled it out. Is the keys in it? Yeah, the keys are in They might have already pulled it out, you never know. Yeah. See, they're not used to having a red tractor in this yard. Oh no. <laughs> uh, green or blue usually. Yeah. Foreign colour. Well, a close cousin to the blue. Yeah. yeah. So we'll try and keep the strop out of the poo if we can, as much as yeah. we can, so. Yeah, try and keep it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to run over Eddie's boots. No, I don't know. Move up. Yeah, better add. Yeah. I'll probably do it kick in the face. Oh yeah, you did get it stuck down it, didn't you? Oh, this could be fun, getting you out of here. Green one, I think. Yeah, that one's snagged. Ah, stay there, biscuit. Chris, you got much more to come. There's quite a bit in there. Like three or four loads. Is there? Yeah. Just back in off the stone, yeah. and then I'll push it up there. All right, so don't come down. You're just on there. Yeah, off yeah. the stone. Just back in off the stone. Yeah. I mean, this normally is like a joy as a bone. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 Wow. Well, you'll have enough firewood to keep you going this year, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon? I've been... Uh, we've put in another fire, mind you. How are you? How are you? We're putting in oh, the, my daughter's having a fire because she's not fed up with paying the electric bill. Yeah. Fair enough. Because she's got electric heat in there. Yeah, yeah. So we want to yeah. have a fire. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah, I see that. But yeah. I've been meaning it's one of my jobs to do. I've got that load up and put it somewhere. Deep joy. Yes, yeah. hours of fun. Yo, hours, yeah, days yeah. even. All right, Ed. All right, we'll get out your way. Hey, you can go back on your seat now. Right. I 
think we'll put you in for a drive. <laughs> well, I'll put a bit sideways, I don't care. I don't mind, I'm not fussy. Straighten up. That's it. That should have it. Your wheels were looking the wrong way. I was going that way and you were trying to go that way. <laughs> you didn't tell us. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it'd be worse if they got four there, at least you put three in there, I reckon. Yeah, just, just, just keep your wheels on the edge of the stone. Yeah. You push it with a loader for the rest of it. Yeah, don't worry about going down there. Uh, uh, Oh, I'll let you put that in the truck, you can take that home. It's shitty. Yeah. Yeah, it's your fault it's shitty, not mine. All right, see you in a bit. I'll let him go first, because he's bound to get stuck again otherwise. I've still got cattle to sort out if I can. I still have to get the calves weaned today. There is time. I mean, I've lost the morning. Um, I have promised to deliver a couple of loads of logs to a customer up in Nibley, which I think I might do first. Get that out of the way, and then this afternoon, hopefully, no one will disturb me, and we can crack on with the job I actually want to do. Got. I'd left the door open down there, so all this lot are currently down there. All right, you lot, happy enough in there? Right, we'll come back to you later. Bags of logs coming up.
just for the seaside. You can come off the top of there. Anything else? You can come off. You can come off. And so can you. Okay. Now I'm happy. Ah, so yes, a couple of you eagle-eyed devils spotted when I was stacking this that we had a little bit of a collapse in here and I think what happened is that pallet just snapped and as soon as he gave way everything on top of that pallet went which knocked the one over behind as well that's a job for a rainy day but not until we've got probably some of this corner cleared we'll get these out of the way because that one at the back there's a bit unsteady as well so we'll move that mechanically with machines obviously mechanically and then when I map it it's safe to get in there we'll see what we can recover at the bag in there I expect a lot of it's going to have to just picked up put back in the bag so, right let's go and deliver these two bags of logs and then it'll be dinner time and then then maybe maybe we can do something with cattle I want to get this job ticked off